Time to wake up. It's the first day of school. You don't want to be late, right? You've already snoozed three times. Five Hurry up, the traffic's gonna be bad. Mm. Wake up! Mm. Oh, Jens is calling you! Oh, wait. Oh, wait, where's my phone? <laughs> now that you're up, you can help me with breakfast. Mm. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Up now! Oh. Heading out so early? Uh, Ibu asked me to prepare breakfast at the restaurant uh, for everyone today to kick off the new year. You know, you look so good that day at the Shelley Holdings party. It was a special occasion. Who says that women should only look our best at these kind of events? Every day can be special. I have to be practical at work. I have to be on my feet the whole day. I, I need to be comfortable. And who says that you can't be comfortable and chic at the same time? It's really not me. Zarin himself commented to me that night how amazing you look. Really? Hey, Azara, can I borrow your cable? Hey, did we put one of your letters with mine? You're still on leave. Yeah, I'm going to the hospital today to see Ashley. She's getting discharged. It's my loan for my uni fees. I have to start paying it back. <laughs> I guess you're going to start eating at home every day from now on. <laughs> hey, for your info, I plan for this, okay? I saved up some money for partial repayment. Mm, sounds like you're going to be partially broke too. <laughs> Last some more. Wait till you start work. Ibu will make you pay your uni fees just like the rest of us. And on top of that, you'll have to contribute to monthly expenses. If I decide to go to uni. I'd like to see Ibu's face when you tell her that. Crap. I didn't know the interest rate is so high. Just ask Ibu to help chip in. I mean, she did that for Abang's uni loan also, right? We haven't really spoken much ever since she found out I'd be happy, Ashley. Well, it's more like because you don't know how to talk to her nicely. You'll never understand my position. To Ibu, Abang can simply do no wrong. Well, no matter what, I'm sure she'll still help you with your uni loan. The whole weekend, I kept asking if y'all have packed your school bags. Every time he told me, yes, mommy, yes, mommy. Eh, I can't find my pencil ball. Eh, I have to. This one is mine. Okay, okay. Please hurry up, go wear your school shoes. You're late already. Mommy, are you coming with us? Ah, uh, Auntie Ananya will drop you off, okay? She has to rush for a meeting at work and mommy, Needs to do some housework. And by the looks of it, Auntie Ananya is going to be late. Because Auntie Ananya chose not to wake up immediately when the alarm rang. Before the first day of school, Daddy always gives us noisy kisses. Too bad Daddy is not here. I want noisy kisses. Okay, okay fine, fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not noisy enough. Okay, sorry guys, but I don't have time for this, okay? Off we go, shoes on. I want Daddy to come back. Eyeliner, I see. Just a little bit. No wonder. I knew there was something different, but I couldn't pinpoint it. Wait until so glam for what? Who's going to see you inside the kitchen? Well, I think she looks very nice. Thank you. Yes. Very nice. Certainly. I'll get legal to draft up something and get it to you by the end of the day. Thanks. And tell Keith I'm still waiting for his reply to my email. All right. Hey, did you manage to contact James? I forwarded your email to him to remind him. I could have done it myself. I thought you'd call him. Look, I haven't been able to get him on the phone. Don't you two talk all the time or something? He's probably just really busy. And for your information, no, we don't talk all the time.
send my regards to Ashley when you see her, yeah? Sure. Kak, why are you so dressed up? Why the sudden change? I don't look good? No, it's good. But I'm just wondering, why the sudden change? Something Shira said. She encouraged me to put in more effort in my appearance. Kak, better be careful of Shira. Who knows what her motives are? Zarif, you should give Shira a chance. She's not as bad as you say. James? Uh, sorry to disappoint you. Nothing to apologize for. I was just trying to get him uh, for work. Everything okay? I'm not used to not having him around, I guess. A again, for work. Uh, I suppose he's still ignoring your calls. He can't avoid me forever. Soon he'll be back and breathing down my neck. Just to clarify, for work, right? Gross! What's wrong with you? You know what? While he's not here, you should take this chance to just chill, take it easy. Try having a life for once. I'm so used to not having one. Come for the reunion later. We only get to see our JC friends once a year. Yeah, for good reason. You know, I actually can't remember the last time I went. Then you must come. Come on, it'll be fun. Okay, fine. But as long as you make sure you post lots of fun wifi so that Kenneth knows how much fun you're having without him. Done. Wait, you're not going to tell them about Kenneth? Or your illness? Or anything, right? Of course not. I hardly see them. What's the point? That's exactly why I didn't want to come in the first place. Just leave your brain at the door and chit-chat, okay? Fun! Mm. <laughs> hey! Hi! Hey! Oh, this is Nikki! Hey, Nikki, you always look so good. So much like you. Oh, better not let my husband hear that. <laughs> Nanya, long time no see. Yeah, I know. Hi. Hi. Hey. Oh my God, Aunt Nanya, is that you? Apparently so, Jenna. Oh, we haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I know. Uh, Brendan very helpfully pointed that out. Okay, guys, I'm starving. Let's get a table. Yeah, yeah sure. sure. You really don't have to come today, sorry. The Arifins are coming to take the baby home today. So I thought you might like the support. Thank you. More importantly, I had leave to clear. So... <laughs> but really, you don't have to keep thanking me. I really mean it, though. I can't imagine facing all of these alone. You don't have to, okay? Whatever you need, I'm here. I really appreciate it. So now that this chapter is closed, what are your plans? I'm thinking of going back to school, maybe. Maybe get my degree. That's a good plan. So, Ananya, I heard you're quite a rock star in Shelley Holdings. Uh, don't believe everything you hear. Uh, Ananya's just being modest. She's doing really well. CEO's right hand woman. Ooh. I heard about Derek Shelley's stroke in the news. Poor guy. Yeah. We're hoping he pulls through. His son, acting CEO, right? Oh my god, that guy is super hot. <gasps> Calm down, Jenna. Aren't you, like, engaged? Not until my dodo boyfriend gets his act together. I love him, though, but I'm ready to settle down and start pushing these little guys out. I'll propose to him first, if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could ever have kids. I love our life too much. Is that selfish? Of course it's not. I guess you can say we just know what we want. What about you, Ananya? Any plans to settle down? Not really. <laughs> She's too busy being a corporate high flyer. Yeah, you could say I'm married to my job. Hey, you came! 
What's up, man? Yeah. Long time no see. Good. Yeah, yourself too. Thank you, man. Yeah. Ananya, didn't expect to see you here. Me neither. Thomas, let's get you some food. Sure, I'm starving. Must remember to take the vitamins every day. It's good for your recovery. Thank you, Mrs. Arifin. Sayang, hmm? don't forget to pass her the contact for the jamu massage. Oh, yeah. I will send you this contact. Just give her a call. And don't worry, all paid for already. Sorry, what's jamu massage? <laughs> Postnatal massage. It's good for slimming down and release toxins and things like that. So generous of you all. Thank you so much. Don't mention, we should be thanking you for a little bundle of joy. You know, I could barely recognize you. You mean without my underbite? Uh, no, that, that's not what I mean. <laughs> it's okay. I know people used to call me Budok Tio. <sighs> you look really different, though. If you like what you see, we can take this conversation offline. <laughs> so, how's the heart market these days? Does that mean you're a surgeon or a butcher? <laughs> I'm the regional director of Global Hearts Association. We're like matchmakers, but for people who need a heart transplant. I'm in charge of Shelley holding CSR partnerships. Yours sounds like a cause we could get behind. In that case, we should talk. Say, over dinner and drinks tonight. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just... So swamped with work, you know. Oh, speaking of, look at the time. You know what? We really should be heading off. Yeah, let's go. Uh, <laughs> thanks, yeah, nice nice seeing you, nice you all. Yes. Okay, bye. 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 What was that about? What was what about? Thomas, he clearly likes you. Why not go out with him? <sighs> look, like I said, I'm just swamped with work. Oh, please. That's an excuse and we both know it. He's totally your type. What have you got to do, huh? For goodness sake, you went out with Joseph. Thomas Teo, he's a serious catch. That's worse. Look, I can't afford any distractions at the moment, okay? Eunice Shelley is up to something and I need all of my wits about me. You can't just work yourself to death. You need downtime. Which I get plenty of! See, by spending time with you and the kids. Win-win. Yeah, yeah. Suit yourself. Sorry I can't give you a lift to GFPH. That's okay. Let me know how the MRI goes. Yeah. The Arifin said you'll get the paperwork sorted out soon. It will take about two to three months. Okay. You must be relieved now that this is all settled. Hey, hey, it's okay. Wait, let's call them quick. I can still get him back, right? Ashley. I'm such a terrible mother. Hey, this was for the best, remember? You can't raise a baby all by yourself. This was the best thing you could do for your baby. Are you sure? Yes. I'm doing the right thing? Definitely. Feeling better after eating? You don't have to sit here and eat with me, Zarif. You've already done enough. I'm not gonna just leave. Come on. I'm not even halfway through my sandwich. And I'm the loser who doesn't want to go home because then I'll just be all alone. What's today's date? The third. Why? Oh, crap! My ring! What about? Oh, it's nothing. Doesn't sound like nothing. I'm behind on my rent. My landlord already gave me an extension, but during my last trimester, I couldn't really work, so... How much do you need? No, Zarif, you've already done enough. I... Just tell me how much. Where is the update from legal? I should have gotten it by now. Sorry, ma'am. I'll get it done ASAP. There you are. 
I wanted to pass this to you. It's a safety date. For James and Emily's wedding. <laughs> yeah, I figured. You'll be there, right? Didn't think I had a choice. It would mean so much to us if you were there. Well, I will be there. And if there's anything at all that you need for the wedding, don't hesitate to ask. Oh, I'm sure Emily knows that by now. <laughs> Come. Ananya. I managed to get James on the phone. Called their approval, so all's good. You just called him? Yeah, he picked up in like two rings. Good for you. You've done too much for me. I can't, Zarif. I already said it's okay. But I feel so bad. Can your family help you with the rent? Alex doesn't have it. My parents don't even know I got pregnant. They're still living overseas. Then what other choice do you have? Maybe I should just forget about this whole degree thing and focus on getting a job first. You've put your life on hold for long enough. Look, I have some cash saved up. I can lend it to you first, no problem. You really do that, Zarif? Thank you so much. I'll pay you back every single cent. Ah. What can I do for you, Emily? Sorry, I know you're busy, but I just wanted to check if everything was all right. That night at a party, you and James seemed to be having a bit of a tiff. Uh, it happens all the time. You know how serious he is about work. If you're not too busy, I was hoping to get your help. Sure. I did offer. I really want to give James a nice surprise for our honeymoon. Okay. I was thinking maybe a private island or a secluded villa. Spare no expense. Preferably somewhere discreet with complete privacy. So we get to spend more quality time together. Uh, yes, I, I get it. Sorry, you must think I'm silly, but I just... James and I spend so much time apart. He's always busy and he's surrounded by all these people who want a piece of him. You know James is someone who really needs to know that someone is in his corner. Someone who just wants him for him. Anyway, I just want him to really relax, be himself and do whatever he wants. No pressure from anyone. I want to give him the space and freedom to relax and not be James Shelley. Just my husband, James. Of, of course. Thank you so much. I'll make a move first. Yeah. Sure. Bye. Bye. Hey. Guess what? My schedule just cleared up. Ayo, oh, hip replacement now. Uh -huh. I don't know if I can come down. Anyway, you take care, okay? Thanks for telling me. Mm. Okay, bye. See Rahima at the phone. Oh, poor thing. You should go and visit her. I can't just leave the restaurant like that. Ibo, go. I will look after the restaurant. You sure? There's no big catering jobs. Don't worry. I can manage. I must say, I was quite surprised when you called. Consider yourself lucky. So your schedule just magically freed up? Just like that. Hmm. Where shall we eat? You know what? I'm actually not that hungry. Wow, nice place. <laughs> Good you can't tell I haven't cleaned in a really long time. <laughs> of course I can. 
Mine isn't much better. In fact, it's always empty because I'm always flying. Oh, same here. Except for the flying bit. So, what are we having? Wine or...? Okay, what did I do now? Just because Ibu's not around, you think you don't need my permission to go out? You were eavesdropping on my call with Audrey. I didn't have to eavesdrop. You were telling the whole world you were free to party all day and all night. Well, I am. And since when did I have to ask for your permission to hang out with my friends? You don't take that tone with me. I'm the head of this household. You want to do anything, you run it by me first. 